Hey yo, so I was browsing the Steam release list today and I came across two games made by the same developer that released on the same day. I'm sure these are both going to be quality, consumer grade products available for your purchase right now on Valve's Marketplace. So the first one is called Fast Cars Racing. I'm pretty sure I've played this exact game before. At least twice, <laughs> so let's go and take a look. At the options menu first, what do we got here? Uh, select behavior type. What does that, what does that mean? Racing, arcade, and drift. Let's put it, I like how fun is an option. It's like, are the other ones not fun? Is that the only fun one? Let's keep it on custom first and then select mobile controller. So I'm assuming this game is supposed to be a mobile game? that they've ported over to Steam for some reason? Okay. Let's go to start and see what happens. Um, we have free driving rinse racing? What is that? What What is rinse racing? I don't know much about racing. Is that a term or is that something completely random? Survival racing. Well, we need to do that one, of course. Track one, absolutely. Yo! That looks like the car from the cheat codes in Age of Empires 2 when you typed in, how do you turn this on? It's like the same color scheme and stuff. Let's totally use that one. Opponents 3? Nah, 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 nah. Not happening. Oh my god, we can go up to 19 opponents? Absolutely. Oh, this is so going down. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay, we're going now. We's a going. Welcome to Fast Cars Racing. What a joy this is so far. Oh god, everything's lagging out and I can't freaking see! I gotta turn my volume down a little bit here and kind of... Okay. Yep. So, I'm not gonna call this fast. I will call it cars. I'm not sure I'm gonna call it racing. And I'm 90% sure this is the same asset template that they, that those two random games that came out like at the start of the year, those other racing games that were the same thing by different developers, but this is like, this is another version of it. Admittedly with more effort put into making levels and stuff, but less effort put into making it not a slideshow and having giant freaking pile-ups of cars that you can't really even play through. Like, I'm just gonna sit here for a second, see if these cars can figure out how to get back on this track. Because they seem to be having a pretty rough go at it. This is fantastic. This is, this is pretty amazing. Come on, you almost got it, guys. There you go. Go on. Come on. There you go. You know, sometimes when you're driving on the road, you just gotta let the angry drivers go ahead of you, because otherwise they're putting you at risk as well, and I feel like this is one of those situations. Let's just keep going. And I mean, this is pretty unsafe driving when the frame rate freezes and locks up the entire game consistently, too. So that's another thing you gotta worry about. It's like, road hazards, they're, they're everywhere, and it doesn't really help when the street signs beside you are flat, JPEGs of an arrow instead of an actual street sign. Like, that's a bit of a problem as well. Also, when your car doesn't handle like a car... Oh, there's still someone else behind me. Maybe they're lapping me at this point, I can't really tell you. I think they might be lapping me. But it's like, when your car has butter instead of wheels... It makes it a little bit difficult to drive. I've, you might need like a separate license for that or something. And I don't feel like I'm equipped to deal with this situation. Oh, there we go. Let's just go the other way. Can we go the other way? Yeah, we totally can, except I can't even turn around because these cars just want to turn this into a demolition derby. I'd like to point out that this is supposed to be a survival race. I don't know what's survival about it. Nothing seems to take damage or get destroyed or do anything. So I don't know what this game mode or what the objective of it is supposed to be. So that's great. 
loving this. Can we pause the game? Doesn't seem like it. The escape key does nothing. Uh, I'm just gonna hit every button on the keyboard and see what happens. Anything? Nope. Of course not. Well then. Let's go play the second game by this developer. Alright, so this is the second game. Oh, hello. Developed by the same guy who just made, um, Fast Cars Racing. That was the name of the game, right? I've already forgotten, to be entirely honest. This game came out on the same day, so let's play this one. Let's go to the options menu. More mobile options by the looks of things. Those guys are not respecting my personal space. Okay. Let's go to start game. Alright, welcome to Monster Shooter. I can't move my character. Oh god, what was that sound? Get out of here. They're just appearing in front of me. And I'm, I killed one of them, but I can't turn to kill any of the other ones, because the controls don't work. Okay. Um, let's go to exit. There we go, that brings us back to the main menu. Alright. Um, options... Let's turn it on to gamepad. And then try this and see if this works. No, it's still not working. So I, I still can't move my character at all. Okay, let's go to exit and try the other one. Uh, sensor. Yeah, sure. Start game. Nope, that also doesn't work. Oh god, that's a terrible sound. Okay, so let's go back to the main menu here. Now... I've got a theory, and this might work or it might not work, who knows. Um, oh, I have sensor and gamepad turned on. Maybe that's a problem. Now, all, why were all of them turned? That's weird. Okay. Let's, um, let's turn on the, the good old Xbox controller and see if this makes any difference. Because it says gamepad, right? So logic would dictate that maybe this will work. Come on. Come on, Xbox. There you go. Okay. Let's try this out and see if it works. Oh, it's working. It's working, except I'm not touching the gamepad at all, and I'm just kind of slowly floating upwards for some reason. And I can't move. And no buttons on this- oh, it's the A button to shoot, silly me. Of course it is. Okay, so we are successfully playing Monster Shooter now, good for us. Let's just kill all these things and just hold down A and see what happens. At least I- at least I got the game to work. That's helpful, but it's- nearly impossible to freaking control. Like, I feel like this is not a practical setup for a mech unit if it's this difficult to turn around and keep everything straight. And why can't I move? I mean, at least this has sound, though. The, um, the trailer for the game didn't have any sound at all. Let's restart again and try this again. Okay, come on. Uh, did something explode near me? I can't really tell. Okay, that one exploded. Kill that one too. I like the sound effect they make when they die. It's like splat. It's a little splat. Where is he? I don't even see anything around me. Oh, there he is. How did he even get there? He was like super far away from last that I looked. Oh, there's another one somewhere. Hi ho. This is brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. I don't know how I could ever live without playing this game. Pretty sure we're supposed to be on Mars, too, and Mars has a skybox for some reason. What the hell is- is that the Demogorgon from Stranger Things? It looked like it hadn't eaten in, like, years. Uh, can I just keep spinning around like this? Will that work? Let's try. We'll just keep spinning. I might have just figured out a way to win this game forever. Nope, I died, never mind. Okay. So those were two quality products, and I'm very happy I played them. Even my Xbox controller is trying to unpair itself from the computer now. Huh. I'm just